I've known real rough tension. I've walked into this uh, Triple M box here at the MCG, already had now for a good decade or more, and I've sensed at times yeah. tension. I've sensed at times real unease. Blokes wanting to go, just wanting to go. What we've done is had an unofficial sort of truce over the past three weeks, but the truce has been broken, <laughs> so our man... <laughs> Spud I don't believe it's has happened. Pinned at the ears back and said, "All bets off." I All. still don't believe it, and I need to hear it from my own eyes. But I've heard. Hear it with my own eyes. Yep. All bets off. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dana. But I'm still in shock. Well, if it's happened, I need to hear it at some stage. It's but... one of those ones, Gary, where we need actually to address it. I think sooner in the rub rather than later. Well, can't let because it fester, uh, already he's flustered. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's, 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 just have a look at him. I know. <laughs> he's not thinking straight. Don't space. look at me, Dana. <laughs> He wants a piece of the purple. No, I but don't. A bit like a, a, you know when the fluffer gets brought in no, for the big stadium. No. A poor old fluffer every now and then cops one, no. Gary. <laughs> Apparently someone outside this box has had a clip at one of us. Oh, and it's led to be le- me. And he used to work with us no, for a long time. No. But I think over the summer no. I thought it was a truce. And we put it all behind us because yes. it got very testy. Did last year at the spring uh, uh, prelim final, where one of the uh, protagonists got emotional, nearly. Oh. Yeah, well, mm. um, who was it, Denny? Who you, no, you? I'm just. Uh, I haven't heard it, Dana. BT. I, <laughs> I can only go on hearsay. Now it happened last Monday on the call, and I thought Chief and uh, JB and, and Luke were very good, but one of the one of the quartet in the box got smashed. So. Oh. I'm led to believe it's me, but I haven't heard it yet from my well, from my own ears, Dana. Well, not us. You don't need. I'll tell you right now. If you if, wherever you are listening to Triple M Footy, could be in the car, you'd be at work, you're out in the shed, you can be overseas uh, streaming us on the web, which hundreds of thousands of people do. Yeah. Uh, which is why we're the number one station. I suggest you don't go anywhere. No, well, they, because it will come, and when it comes, yeah. it'll come hard. And it, it, and look, it, so good was the game last night between Carlton and Collingwood are so good with Carlton that we need to talk about them mm, we and do. the ramifications for Collingwood. That's how good that game was because normally we'd open with this. We would. We've uh, discussed Collingwood at length. We've got to get to the Blues oh, yeah. and we've also got to allow Spud uh, a bit of air time because of, uh, the, the tension in the man, uh, unable to focus I'm still unsure. At, at the minute. Uh, so Can I tell you that the Twitterverse has gone nuts of people saying, Spud, now is your time. If if someone has whacked you as you did in your playing day, stand up. That's well, I'm unsure at the moment. I need to hear it. And, at then, some and stage. the other Twitter I saw was a gentleman out, I think Dandenong Way, who said, "Spud, if someone whacks you, he whacks us." As in listeners, <laughs> he's, fellow commentators, he's having a go at the f- Triple M extended family, the family. Okay, okay. Harry, yeah, uh, who looks <laughs> after the technical side yes. of things. This bloke quite rightly said, so "I've got to stand up." If you're having a go at you, Spud, he's having a go at a lot of us. <laughs> I know the lead from and the front. therefore fix it. You've always been my leader. I'll cop a few bullets, but do anyway. business, Spud, is what this man was saying. Anyway, now? so uh, we no, not quite yet. <laughs> Spud's still wound Spud. up like a Oh, he is. <laughs> it might be done. I, I, I think he's actually it. getting more wound up. No, I'll have to leave it next week. There's oh. I, AFL players who listen to Triple M. They all do. All of them. And they are tweeting. There are actual AFL players saying, we're not going anywhere. We know what sort of bloke Spud was. We are all waiting to hear him. So, you know, there yeah, it is. Well, you know why they listen to us, Gary. Because well, they're alive. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> That's why. Not that la di da. Let's go on a trip. La di da da da. Sort of stuff, is it? Yeah. <laughs> like the over 55 set up, Jeff. They're not playing the Seekers <laughs> as a uh, bit of music to uh, play on. <laughs> we went down to Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, alive. Oh, come they got on, breath come coming on. in. Did you hear that? Don McClarty coming up next. Don Woody Franks. This is the Saturday run. I always listen to him because I know he's he probably come and fired up. I could come to a few topics that I might know it's about, so I'll tell you what, I'll be tuned in tomorrow to listen to the great man go off. Well, that's, of course, the great man, Steve Kernahan, the uh, president of Carlton, who sounded to me, I wasn't involved in that interview, Gary, yes. but sounded to me like he had an inkling. He had uh, sniffed the air. I think he had. read the tea leaves. And yes. his favourite past on the Sunday, Saturday, having won Fridays, to sit back with maybe a crown at this time. And just listen. Not maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And I, uh, just we need to set the scene here. Yeah, please yeah. do, because I'm yeah. in the dark. Well, I'm confused well, too. Well, I am too, because, of course, I don't listen. I don't actually have AM on my no. radio. No. And you're <laughs> but, under 55. Yeah, and I am, and I'm alive. Yeah. So I don't have it as part of my... I've never heard it, Gary. I don't understand it. No. But 
But it was uh, pointed out to me that apparently the, one of the uh, older stations mm. had had a clip at our main man. I can't believe that. Well, I can't believe it either. And, and we had I, a truce. Well, yeah, I thought we had a truce. Because it got a bit messy and someone got a bit upset. And we got physical. Bit. Yeah, so we called it off. Well, anyway... Uh, we we heard about it. Big crowd on Monday, and it and it came through to us. It was sent through to us, and uh, well, I haven't heard it either. No, I haven't heard so it. So I think what we need to do is we need to play it to our man here, Spud, no. first, and then get his thoughts on it. Oh, no. Here we go. That's what you get on three W football. You'd have Spud uh, muttering and trying to spit a word out, and wouldn't have still got it out at this stage. Instead, you've got Mick being concise and exactly what's happening. Oh, oh now, now that's right. <laughs> Fair is fair. That is right, is it? I'll that, tell you what, that's, that's the first time I've heard it. A couple of mates, Damo, not, well, not you, obviously. No. <laughs> <laughs> tell me if Bristle had a crack. Now, is this the same Bristle that I saw in the Green Guide? He said for a start he'd never go in the Green Guide yeah. with Jared Waitley and a few of the boys, saying he was disappointed at the fact we got personal last year. That we got personal with him. Is this the same Bristle who was close to tears at that lunch at oh, Flemington yeah, he last was. year? No, he was too. Because he brought a knife to a gunfight, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> he got blown out of the water by little <laughs> linguini um, <laughs> JB here. Then claimed, we got personal. Play it again, Luke. I just need to hear it again. Play it again. All right, here we are. We'll just get right Play it again. It back I'm up still again. not sure. All right. All right, we got it? We, yeah. Here we are. I'm sure it's coming. Nah, we haven't got it? No, nah, it'll be coming. We may. That's what you get on 3LW football. You'd have Spud uh, muttering and trying to spit a word out and wouldn't have still got it out at this stage. Instead, you've got Mick being concise and exactly what's happening. What? <laughs> that isn't personal, old buffalo head. What are you laughing at, Purple? You agree with him? Brian, listen to this. We invented getting personal on Triple M, my friend. <laughs> You leave the tent, you cop it. We've been doing it for 15 bloody years. We get personal with ourselves first, then anyone else outside this tent. Take this box for, box for example. I've had enough of landing strip here. You purple, old flat top V head. Sherman and Mr Peabody whacking away on your Twitter, Facebook. Get a life. We're not, mates. <laughs> Start of the year, any increase in your package, Danny? Piss off, Purple! <laughs> You're a journo! You don't earn as much as us. Get over it! <laughs> I've also had a gut full of you, JB. <laughs> Reckon he's our leader. Turns up whenever he wants, struts around, thinks he's found the cure to world poverty. What a joke. <laughs> You're only just going, mate. You're only just going. I hope the CEOs listen to this, Ben Amafio. <laughs> Bloody complacency. <laughs> and as for you, Furball. Oh, <laughs> you be careful here. We go I, back. I've simply had enough. We'll get leading teams in at some stage. <laughs> Don't know if I've read my bloody article. <laughs> Guess what? New world record today, Damo. We get in here at 11.45. 11.45.20. Have you read my article? I did not. You did. I did I had a look at it. You did. I had a quick look. I'll tell you what. And he's put in here in one... I dug out an article I wrote on Question 2002. And this is where it gets really... Opposition clubs need to employ decoy full force to draw Fletcher away from the key attacking hotspot. Stevie Wonder can see that! <laughs> Seriously, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> Triple M listeners, oh, no, no, we don't get we don't get it on with each other in here, oh, let alone no. other stations. Oh, no. So, Brian Buffalo Head, I won't get personal. <laughs> if you want to head down this track, my friend, you'd better carry a big stick. Because we pack heat over in the demo. You want an example? Just ask the doc. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's the bumbling mess since he's walked out of his box. He's still sucking his thumb in the corner like a big baby with puppy dog eyes every time he looks at me. And it was the truth, Doc. <laughs> Danny Frawley would still be getting his words out. At least the people who I work with like me. <laughs> Except these three. And I've had a couple. It's round three. I'm ready to explode. Where do I go from here? Don't you start, big nose producer. You too, Harry. 
sitting there chortling away <laughs> like a wildebeest. Did he give it at least the people I work with like me? <laughs> I think that's how we finished it up. Okay, what I can't work out is Bristle as a go at Spud, yep. and then he just strikes us. Yeah, yeah that works. Well, well, yeah. That work? I just wanted to make it known to Brian I will get serious, and I probably took a few soldiers oh, down with me. But I thought, Brian, it was 50 during the week. We're, we're better than that. We're bigger than that. But just to throw in a little bird, I, that cut me. Well, I thought, I thought I and Harry he, last year he did he, he did take oh, it to heart and it was we uh, shredded that call on Monday. Oh, yeah. wow. We we did we tore it to bits and then just to put that in his special comments, I'm really disappointed. Domo, you're a journo. You don't earn as much as us. <laughs> Get over it, <laughs> mate. Just because you got the new set of glasses and standing up uh, on oh, my time on the footy oh, show no. doesn't mean when you go to the toilet it doesn't smell, mate. It still stinks. Yeah, call it our Triple M as our, uh, our oh, uh, no. Triple M listeners are wondering whether you're going to make it to the end of the year. So. <laughs> I don't think I will. I think the only thing I can do is get physical. A little that, how he's laughing down there, I'll tell you. How did that turn back on us? Yeah, because well, you were laughing. No, you were laughing. Yeah, what do I do? What did it do? sounded like you were siding with Brian's oh. comments. And you... It's yeah. probably and don't put a little bit. I think you've been stating something from yeah. ten years ago. You didn't even read it. You blocked Steve, it. Stevie Wonder <laughs> could see that. You reckon? <laughs> oh, probably a bit harsh, Gary, on that one. I can't <laughs> take it back. No, nah, look, I'm prepared to cop it because we can cop it. That's the. I think that's oh. the difference, Jeff. Wait, what? We can wear one. It's going to be frosty now mm. for the rest if of the year. If we got ten year contracts, you can't oh, leave right. here, can you? you well, can't. no, it's going to be frosty. <laughs> Yeah, you had a crack uh, day, mate. They tried to drag you away, uh, but not not uh, the old station, the other mob. And I think out of fear of what you'd cop, you stayed. Subliminally, I think it might have been. Mm. All right, for uh, Don Free Friends. I need to go and have a copy. This is the Saturday Rub. Yeah. We're uh, bringing you the preview for the game between Richmond and Melbourne at the MCG. Damo's here, Gary's here, Spud's here. <laughs> and I'll Still. tell you what, we're uh, just having to calm him down because he got nicely wound up. And none of us can believe that the flying in uh, text, Gary yeah. tweets, Facebook entries, um, and no one that I'm getting text from oh, can believe that a slight clip from Bristle has <laughs> led to a universal Triple M staff strafing. Pretty much <laughs> taking aim at everyone in footy is what I'm getting uh, on the Twitter. Um, Stay tuned. Kate Johnson, who's a great Triple M, she just reckons it's gold. Nathan says it's hilarious, most classic thing I've ever heard. Um, uh, what else have I got here? Yeah, absolutely brilliant from Laura. A lot of good girls, I think. They just they appreciated the subject of mm-hmm. the uh, actual spray as well. Uh, Quarters listening from the Cute. Channel 10. He says, uh, hasn't heard Spud this upset since Doomy Kingby. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, um, Spud going troppo. We pack heat. Cop that, BT. That's from Ryan Sweeney. <laughs> so they do. They love you. They love oh, the, right. the Spud I'm, Regis. I, He's got it off I his chest. I can't apologise to you guys. So I, sometimes in war, to win a battle, you've got to take a few down. <laughs> A few yeah. seconds for collateral. Don't they? Collateral. Yeah. Oh, Phil Denitti's listening the best. Uh, oh, we don't know. Oh, we're all media mm. outlet on, on my iPad. The Walking Dead still working out what an iPad is. <laughs> nice one, uh, Roll Philby. 